Access your free language gifts right now before they expire. First, the Talking Online PDF Cheat Sheet. Learn the must-know internet slang and all the internet-related vocab and phrases in your target language with this PDF cheat sheet. Second, can you talk about video games in your target language? You'll learn how to say RPG, settings, lag, and much more. Third, how to learn from home, learning strategies. Want to learn the language from the comfort of your home? This one-minute lesson gives you all the best tactics for learning languages. Fourth, 45 must-know gym words, such as cardio, bench press, deadlifts, leg day, and other words that you can't skip or miss. You'll master all the must-know gym words with this next vocabulary lesson. Fifth, how to order food in your target language. This next one-minute lesson will teach you the 20 most common phrases and questions you'll need at a restaurant. And sixth, free language learning audiobooks for anyone who's watched this far. If you visit the link below, we'll send you over to our library of language learning audiobooks, which you can get for free. Save them to your device and listen and learn. They're yours to keep forever. To get your gifts and language learning resources, click the link in the description below. Download them right now before they expire. Hey everyone, welcome to the monthly review, the monthly show on language learning where you discover new learning strategies, motivational tips, study tools, and resources. By the way, all the lessons and bonuses you're about to see can be downloaded for free on our website. So click the link in the description right now to sign up for your free lifetime account. Okay, today's topic is, can busy people actually learn a language? You yourself probably have an answer to this question, right? But whether you can or can't actually has a bit more to do with your mindset than anything else. And in this guide, you'll discover, one, is it possible for busy people to learn a language and the mindset needed? Two, mental bandwidth, the one thing that can make or break your language goals. And three, five mindset tricks to make time for language. But first, if you're looking for new free language resources and downloads, here are this month's new lessons and resources. Be sure to download these now before we take them down in a few days. First, the Talking Online PDF Cheat Sheet. Learn the must-know internet slang and all the internet-related vocab and phrases in your target language with this PDF Cheat Sheet. And second, the 40 words and phrases for ordering food writing workbook. With this free resource, you'll pick up must-know words and phrases for the restaurant and practice writing them out as well. To get your free resources, click the link in the description below right now. They're yours to keep forever. Can busy people actually learn a language? Part one, is it possible for busy people to learn a language and the mindset needed? So, can busy people actually learn a language? What do you think? Leave us a comment and let us know. As much as we want to say yes, it's more of a yes or no depending on the person. Why yes? Yes, because many of our members are busy and are learning with our system. And some of you who are watching also fall into this camp. But it also depends on the person because it's more of a mindset thing. Either you think you have time or you don't. For example, many of our members fall into the group of can learn and can find the time, even if they're busy. If you're busy and still want to learn, if you look around, you can always find five or 10 minutes a day, like on a commute. Now, if your mindset is the opposite, if you think you can't learn a language or you don't have time, you won't even try, even if you had a resource that was proven to work. Part two, mental bandwidth the one thing that can make or break your language goals. And if you think about it, if you had all the time in the world but felt like you couldn't learn a language, you wouldn't try either. Again, this is why it comes down to the mindset and why it all depends on each individual person. Either you think you can or you think you can't. But it may not always be this black and white either. It can also depend on your mental bandwidth too. 
Think back to your school days, those few days before exams. It got really busy and you had to stop everything to study, right? You were probably thinking, if I can just get through studying this week and take the test, then next week I can finally start relaxing and doing other things. And if someone asked you if you wanted to hang out, you would say no, because you're busy. But chances are you still managed to spend at least 30 minutes on YouTube or social media. Meaning you did have some time, even if you were busy. But the test was occupying your mind and taking up all that bandwidth. So it's also possible that we just don't have the mental bandwidth because we're overwhelmed. And this is a genuine reason for not being able to learn when you're busy. Don't worry, in the next part, we'll show you how to get some bandwidth so that you don't feel overwhelmed. Part three, five mindset tricks to make time for language. So if you've gotten this far, you understand that it is possible to start learning a language, even if you're busy, that you can find the time, but it mostly comes down to your mindset. So how can you develop the mindset? So when you're too busy, it feels like you're overwhelmed and like you don't have control of your time. Well, there are a few things you can do to gain some control of your time, have some breathing room, and learn a bit of language. First. Always set small, measurable goals. This is something that we talk a lot about here. For example, learn for 10, 15, or 20 minutes every day. Learn 100 words in one month, which means learning three to four words a day. And the mindset behind this is just being realistic with your goals and what you can do. Because if you're busy, you may not have one or two hours. And this is a strict rule, especially when starting out with new goals and languages. Always stick to small, measurable goals. Second, lowering your goals and expectations is okay when things get super busy. If you couldn't learn all 100 words for the month and only got up to 40 or 60, that's okay. If you tried learning on Monday and Tuesday but skipped Wednesday and Thursday, that's okay. Sometimes you have to shift priorities, and prioritizing things is a secret to a successful life. You may not get to the goal you wanted to achieve today, but you can get to it next week. Third, it's okay to put language on pause if life gets in the way. Just like with that last point, you can always come back and reach your goal a little later. We often see learners put language on pause, come back later. Some even come back years later. But the key is to come back. Fourth, avoid the all or nothing mindset at all costs. And an all or nothing mindset is something you'll see in beginners and perfectionists. When you have this mindset, you'll say, language learning requires hours, so there's no point in learning for a few minutes today. But something is better than nothing, and even five to 10 minutes of review adds up in the grand scheme. And in the grand scheme, it's more important to be consistent, even if it's just for a minute a day, rather than study for hours once a week. The brain just doesn't work that way. Fifth, do you have a slowdown or relaxing routine that you do on the weekends or whenever you have free time? And if you didn't do it, you'd feel overwhelmed? Leave us a comment and let us know what it is. For some, it could be reading, watching TV, or going to a cafe and doing nothing for a bit. You're there on your own, you don't have much to do in front of you, even if it's just 10 or 15 minutes. And if you're settled, you start feeling in control. And that's the point you have some mental bandwidth. You can start doing some time management and plan your week out. You can put in a few minutes of language learning. But if you don't slow down and if you feel overwhelmed, you could have the easiest possible way to learn a language. And you still wouldn't do it. So back to you. If you were busy, do you think you'd be able to learn a language? Leave us a comment. So thank you for watching this episode of Monthly Review. Do you record yourself speaking your target language? If you enjoyed these tips, hit the like button, share the video with anyone who's trying to learn a language, and subscribe to our channel. We release new videos every week. And if you're ready to finally learn language the fast, fun, and easy way, and start speaking from your very first lesson, get our complete learning program. Sign up for your free lifetime account right now. Click the link in the description. See you next time. Bye. Want to learn more words? There's an easy way to boost your vocabulary and speak more of your target language. And it doesn't involve memorization. In fact, all you need to do is press play and listen along as often as possible and get used to the language. What does this mean exactly? Stick around. 
How to get used to words so you can learn fast and skip the hard work. In this guide, you'll discover one, how to get used to the language and learn without hard work. Two, why listening along and increasing your exposure will boost your vocabulary. And three, how extensive reading can help you learn words faster. But first, if you don't yet have access to our language learning system, sign up for a free lifetime account right now. Just click the link in the description to get your free lifetime account. If you're learning any language, you've probably felt frustrated over the number of words, conjugations, variations, and exceptions that you need to know. And sure, you need to know them, but that doesn't mean you have to study and sweat over them. There is an easier way to learn, and it's simply to get used to the language. And getting used to it just means you hear a word enough times to the point that you just know it naturally. Just like you got used to riding a bike or using a brand new keyboard or smartphone. Eventually, it got easier. And this can work with the hardest words and grammar rules too. You get used to them over time and suddenly it's easy for you. So, how exactly can you get used to the language and boost your vocabulary? When you join, you automatically get a laid out step-by-step -step pathway of lessons to follow. Just press play on a lesson, listen to a conversation in the target language. You hear it again with the translations. Then our teachers explain every word and phrase and grammar rule. And then you hear it one last time. And this is how you start getting used to all the words. You're exposed to it three times, which is enough to get the words settled into your brain. And then, when you move on to lesson two, lesson three, and so on, you'll encounter these words and phrases again, which is more exposure. So as long as you're taking the lessons and listening to the dialogues, you're getting used to the language over time. You can also re-listen to old lessons if you want, but if you don't, <laughs> The dialogue tracks give you just the conversation of the lessons, no translations, so that you can review the conversations without retaking lessons and immerse yourself in the language. And you can re-listen to the conversations as much as you want to get used to all the words inside. Kind of like listening to a song until all the words are stuck in your brain. If you just want to listen to words on repeat and get used to them that way, then use our vocabulary slideshow tool, which you can find on every lesson and vocabulary list. Just press play and listen to the words on repeat until they're all stuck in your head. The slideshow plays the audio while showing you the words on the screen so that you can listen and read along. Another proven way to get used to a language and boost your vocabulary is to just read more. Like listening, reading is another form of input or exposure. But what makes extensive reading so special is extensive reading is a strategy where you read as much as possible without stopping over unknown words and continuing on. It's quantity over quality. So you're not given hard material that you'll struggle over, but stories that you'll mostly understand. In fact, our absolute beginner extensive reading books are simple one or two words per page books, kind of like kids books. So look for our extensive reading pathway inside the lesson library and follow the lessons one by one. Extensive reading books are available for absolute beginner, beginner, and intermediate levels. So, if you want to get access to these learning tools and our learning system, sign up for a free lifetime account right now. Just click the link in the description to get your free lifetime account. Remember, here's what you can do to learn all of these words by heart. Drill these words with our spaced repetition flashcards, which will help cement these words into your long-term memory. Save them to the Word Bank, your personal vocabulary collection where you can print out your own study sheets, or review the words with our looped vocabulary slideshow and play it until you know all of the words. So click the link in the description right now and sign up for your free lifetime account to get these lessons and study tools. Are you brand new to the language? If you are, have you learned the alphabet yet? Because if not, if you don't do it now, you'll only struggle with learning language. How to learn the alphabet in one hour or less. Free printable worksheets. And that's why today you'll discover one, the fastest, easiest, and most obvious way to learn the alphabet. Two, 
how to get our alphabet workbook for free if you follow these steps, and three, how you can use this to learn the alphabet in an hour or less. But first, if you don't yet have access to our language learning system, sign up for a free lifetime account right now. Just click the link in the description to get your free lifetime account. So, what's the best way to learn the alphabet? Is it a fancy app? Is it a giant collection of flashcards you'll need to memorize? Nope. The best way is to simply practice writing the letters out. Sounds obvious, but in this digital age, writing things out isn't the first thing most people think of. But because you're writing things out and engaging multiple senses, you'll remember everything better than just swiping around on an app and only looking at the letters. And that's where our special Alphabet PDF workbook comes in. And you can get it for free if you follow these steps. Don't worry, this takes less than a minute. One, click the link in the description. Two, sign up for a free lifetime account. Three, once you have your account, come back to the link above, or just click the link in the description and the PDF workbook will be unlocked. And four, download and print out the workbook. That's it. And once you have the workbook, You can learn the alphabet in an hour or less, like many of our learners. Just write the characters in the provided spaces. Again, by physically writing things out, you learn faster because you're engaging more senses. And you can also print several copies of the same workbook for extra practice. Once you're done, be sure to immediately move on to reading and writing. This will help cement the alphabet into your brain. And don't worry if you struggle remembering one or two letters. The rest comes from reading and writing practice. If you want to jump into reading, check our extensive reading books inside the lesson library. The absolute beginner books are simple one or two words per page books that will get you going. If you want to practice writing, make sure you're signed up to our email list. We email out writing workbooks and cheat sheets every week. So, if you want to get access to these learning tools and our learning system, Sign up for a free lifetime account right now. Just click the link in the description to get your free lifetime account. Remember, here's what you can do to learn all of these words by heart. Drill these words with our spaced repetition flashcards, which will help cement these words into your long-term memory. Save them to the Word Bank, your personal vocabulary collection where you can print out your own study sheets, or review the words with our looped vocabulary slideshow and play it until you know all of the words. So click the link in the description right now and sign up for your free lifetime account to get these lessons and study tools. Great work. Here's a reward. Speed up your language learning with our PDF lessons. Get all of our best PDF cheat sheets and eBooks for free. Just click the link in the description.